An abstract is like a sneak peek into a larger work, whether it's a research paper, thesis, or article. It's a concise summary that captures the essence of your study, highlighting the main objectives, methods, results, and conclusions. Think of it as a movie trailer for your research, designed to grab attention and provide just enough information to entice readers to dive deeper. A well-crafted abstract can make or break your chances of getting published or even having your work read. It should be clear, engaging, and packed with key terms that resonate with your audience. Remember, the goal is to convey the significance of your work in a way that sparks curiosity and invites further exploration. So, when you write your abstract, think clarity, brevity, and impact. Here is a condensed five-point discussion on writing an abstract. An abstract serves as a concise summary of a research paper, providing readers with a quick overview of the main points such as the purpose, methodology, results, and conclusions. It allows others to gauge the relevance of your research without reading the entire document. Emphasize that an abstract acts like a movie trailer, it showcases the key elements without revealing every detail, sparking interest and guiding readers to the full text. One of the best practices for writing an effective abstract is to complete it after finalizing the main body of the paper. This ensures that the abstract accurately reflects the content and key findings of the research. Writing it at the end helps prevent inconsistencies and omissions that might occur if done earlier. This method allows the author to craft a comprehensive and cohesive summary of the entire study. A strong abstract includes the following essential components, background slash introduction, provides context and highlights the research topic. Purpose slash objective, states the main aim or research question. Methodology, briefly outlines the approach, such as qualitative or quantitative methods. Results, summarizes key findings or outcomes. Conclusions, highlights the implications or contributions of the study. Each section should be concise, focusing on delivering a clear snapshot of the research. Be specific and precise, ensure every sentence contributes meaningfully, avoiding vague language. Use keywords, incorporate relevant keywords that will make your abstract searchable in academic databases, enhancing discoverability. Avoid new information, do not introduce data or discussions not included in the main body of the research. Consistency is key. Balance conciseness and completeness, stay within word limits, typically 150 to 250 words, and cover all critical points. To craft a strong abstract, avoid these common pitfalls, overly detailed background, the background should be brief and relevant, not an extensive summary. Omitting results, ensure that the results are clearly stated to inform readers about the study's outcomes. Ambiguity, be direct and specific to avoid confusion. Ignoring word limits, sticking to the recommended word count keeps the abstract focused and effective. Example, a well-structured abstract could read like this, this study examines the impact of digital learning tools on student engagement in high school science classes. Using a mixed methods approach, surveys and interviews were conducted with 150 students and 10 teachers. The results indicate a positive correlation between the use of interactive software and increased student participation. The findings suggest that incorporating technology into lesson plans can enhance students' interest and performance in science, contributing valuable insights into educational technology practices. End the discussion by encouraging participants to practice writing abstracts and critique them for improvement. Here are examples of both an informative abstract and a descriptive abstract for the same hypothetical study. This study investigates the impact of digital learning tools on student engagement and learning outcomes in high school science classes. A mixed methods approach was utilized, combining surveys completed by 150 students and interviews with 10 teachers. Quantitative survey data were analyzed using statistical methods, while qualitative interview data underwent thematic analysis. The results demonstrated a significant positive correlation between the use of interactive educational software and higher levels of student participation and interest in science topics. Additionally, students exposed to digital tools showed improved retention and comprehension compared to those taught using traditional methods. The findings suggest that integrating technology into science curricula can enhance student engagement and academic achievement. These insights offer practical recommendations for educators and curriculum developers seeking effective teaching strategies. This study explores the use of digital learning tools to enhance student engagement in high school science classes.
It outlines the methodology involving surveys of students and interviews with teachers, aiming to analyze the relationship between technology use and student participation. The abstract provides an overview of the approach and areas of focus without detailing specific results or conclusions. This research contributes to the broader discussion on the integration of technology in educational practices and its potential to improve learning experiences.